and welcome to my channel. This is Encouragers ASMR. My name is Michael. Today I'm going to be asking Claude some questions about the Bible and faith and such. So I've done this before with uh, ChatGPT, um, Bard, I think at the time. And so I'm going to expand the AI base that I'm using with Cloud, which is from um, Anthropic. So you can see I've done previous searches for washing machine error codes. They're not draining. Comparing Jesus' end times teachings across gospels. I had it put together a chart for me. It was very interesting. So I hope that this video is educational and interesting to you. So I also kind of want to make it like a a, a, a ramble. Maybe we'll mix in some whispering and stuff too. But uh, I know it's been a while since I've put out uh, a video that wasn't scripture reading, so I'll put out time time for uh, another video. For those of you who may not know, I have the entire book of John, King James Version, available on YouTube over three hours. Um, I believe it's mostly whispered. Some of the videos have some waves in the background as well for those of you who like waves for those of you who don't like waves there's a bunch that don't have waves also so let's get started with a basic question so let's start with a basic question for cloud Let's not do it in caps because we're not shouting. So, let's ask a basic question. According to the Bible, what is the gospel? And then we'll read the response. It says, according to the Bible, the gospel, which literally means good news, refers to the message of salvation through Jesus Christ. Here are some key aspects of the biblical gospel. Number one, sin and separation from God. The Bible teaches that all humans are sinners, Romans 3.23, and our sin has separated us from a holy God. We are in need of forgiveness and reconciliation. Jesus as Savior. The central message is that Jesus Christ, who is fully God and fully man, died on the cross as a substitutionary sacrifice for sin. His death paid the penalty for sin. Salvation by grace. Salvation from sin and its consequences cannot be earned, but comes by God's grace alone, received through faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Repentance. Repentance. And faith. And faith. People must repent of their sins. To, that means to turn away from them and place their faith in Jesus Christ alone for salvation. Number five says eternal life. Those who accept the gospel message receive forgiveness of sins and gain eternal life with God. Eternal life with God. Eternal life with God. Number six says spread the message. Christians are called to share this good news of salvation through Christ with others. You could do it through in-person conversations. You could do it through having coffee with somebody. You can do it when you're in a car with someone. You can make a YouTube video that shares the good news with anybody willing to listen to it. That's what I'm doing with these videos. I want to share the good news for people to know. The weight of the world is not on your shoulders. It's on Jesus. So in essence, the 
biblical gospel is the joyful message that though human sin separates us from God, he has provided a way of forgiveness and eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ. This gospel message is the central truth of Christianity. Thank you for listening to that. That is the message of what is the gospel according to the Bible as told by Claude. This is the free version of Claude, uh, free to sign up for, um, very easy to get to. So now let's do a comparison of, let's see if we can do this, if I can bring this up and say, thank you. Thank you. Let's ask, can you create a table of the gospel message as it is told across the four gospels? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Let's find out what it can put into a table. This is really neat. So it gives you it gives you the key verses that are there and it gives you the emphasis. So we'll go through and, and read those here in a second. So this is a table summarizing how the gospel message is presented across the four biblical gospels. In Matthew, Jesus as promised Messiah and King who suffered, who suffered, who died, who died, and was resurrected to inaugurate the kingdom of heaven. The gospel must go to all nations. The second one is for Mark. It says, Jesus as the suffering servant, who is the Son of God, his death and resurrection enable repentance, belief in the gospel and salvation. The next one is Luke. Luke. The next one. Luke. The next one. Luke. The next one. Luke. Jesus as the Savior for all people who came to seek and save the lost. His death and resurrection led to repentance and forgiveness being proclaimed. Being proclaimed. John. The next one is 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 John. Jesus as the divine Son of God who gives eternal life to those who believe in him. His miracles prove he is the Messiah so that people will believe. 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 So will believe. Some common threads. 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 All four present Jesus as the promised Messiah in Christ. His death on the cross is a substitutionary atonement for sins. His resurrection proves who he is and makes salvation possible. A call to repentance and belief in him for salvation. A commission to proclaim this gospel message to all nations. While nuanced, the gospel portraits reinforce the core truth that Jesus is the divine savior whose death and resurrection make salvation available to all who will repent and believe in him. So, let me know what you think of this video and the content. Let me know what questions you have and what you'd like me to see. Ask Claude and see what, what we can ask it. Any other tables or things we can put together. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Just know that 